keep messing up my words. Cut. Let's talk about books. I've been wanting to talk about books for a long time on my channel. I just haven't found a book that I want to talk about. Until, until I saw the trailer for To All the Boys I've Loved Before and I was like, what is, what is this? What is this? It looks super cheesy and cute and adorable and I'm all about it and I'm here to support it. Then I looked into it, saw that it was a book adaptation. So then I'm like, okay, let's buy the box set. I don't care. Um, it's by a Asian author and I'm here to support my Asians. To all the boys I love, I bought the box set in a heartbeat. I literally was like, okay, it's already been turned into a film. It comes out August 8th. I gotta get on this shit right now because um, I'm already behind enough. So like, I'm here to catch up as quick as I can. Um, I read the first two books in two days and then the last book it took me a little bit longer because it, it took me a little bit longer on the last book just because it wasn't as interesting to me as the first two books so um, I took a little longer reading it and what caught my eye about this when I saw the trailer for To All The Boys I Loved was obviously it was an Asian lead, Asian girl lead, which is very, very uncommon amongst movies, um, especially rom-coms or teenage romance movies. I just, I've never seen in my entire life a female Asian lead in a romantic movie. Not only that, someone that is like a mixed kid, uh, she's biracial. So I, I was so like intrigued right away when I saw the trailer. Honestly, let's watch the trailer right now. I've watched it a million times, but um, I think I'll watch it again because why not? It's just, it's just a great trailer. Margie. Margie. Margie, wake up! Are you okay? What happened? You fainted. <sighs> okay, let me start over. <sighs> and the way that trailer is edited, really love that, the music. is Margie. I was used to being invisible. No one was paying attention to what I was doing. I write a letter when I have a crush so intense that I don't know what else to do. How cute! To Peter with the beautiful eyes. Kenny from camp. Ew, okay, I'm actually really sorry. Like, what the fuck was that? My face, what happened? Why did I make that? Ew. Lucas from Homecoming. John Ambrose from Model UN. How cute. And Josh, the boy next door. The boy next door. How about it? <gasps> hey! What are you doing? There's my girl kitty. There she is. There she is. Can you maybe just admit that some part of you doesn't want everything in your life to be a fantasy? Girl, Margaret, why can't I always be a freaking Debbie Downer? You gotta get out there and show people who you really are. This is literally me when I'm like in my car, like trying to like get ready to like take the road. Laura Jean, get it so far. Let's get a little steamy. Let's do this. Yes. Hey, can I talk to you? Me? Yeah. Look, I really, I appreciate it, but it's never gonna happen. I'm sorry. What? I think Girl. it's really cool that you think I have cold specs in my eyes. It's just whoa, 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 whoa. Girl. The letters are out. It's so good! It's gonna be so good! It's gonna be so good. August 17th, y'all are ready. I'm not ready. It's about to be so good! <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so now that I watched the trailer, um, I'm gonna talk about the books. We're getting into this. I'm not a book reviewer. I don't know how to review writing or books. Um, I like what I like and then I um, just dig deeper into how I like stuff. So if you were looking for a book review, I'm sorry. This is going to be more of a commentary. So let's get into why I loved it so much and what that meant to me. Okay, I read this book at the perfect time in my life. I read this at the right time, at the right age, to where I could fully grasp everything that was going on and I could truly relate to Lara Jean. I don't think I've ever read a book quite like this where I related to her and connected with a character. Lara Jean is biracial. I'm not biracial, but um, I'm a mixed kid. So you kind of see her go through not like identity problems with her race, but you can see while she also lives very American lifestyle, she still tries to hold on to her Korean 
side as well without it being too forced it's just like yes like i have a korean side as well and she loves it and she's not ashamed of her korean side i know a lot of uh, mixed kids have issues it's like i white people won't accept me korean people won't accept me it's like a very like weird issue that mixed kids have but like you just gotta deal with it you sort of got to see into her biracial life that she lived it was not about her struggles being uh, biracial. It was nice to see a book from the perspective of someone who was mixed race. I think that's really cool. In the first book, Lara Jean is 16 in junior year and I'm about to go into my junior year. So all of this, all of this kind of stuff she's going through, not per se with the letter stuff because I can't relate to that, but with her school and then, you know, with driving, I don't know. I felt like it was just like, it was really like a moment where I was just like, me like I really just connected to Lara Jean in this book a lot because I'm sort of at the same place in life as her I relate to her on so many different levels with that personality wise ethnicity wise and then age and it's just it was all like a lot that I just really connected with her on and I think that's one of the reasons why I loved this book so much it was the perfect book for me to read I, I thought this whole series was really interesting and really fun to read and although it had this like teen plot that was pretty like cheesy she handled it in such a way that it didn't make you cringe it didn't feel over dramatic in the book it felt all very like self-aware of what it was and I think Jenny Han did a really good job at writing it but the first one's just the best you, you can't deny that the first one is just really good the second one I really enjoyed as well I read it super quick I was so invested in this it was really throwing me for some loops and I was just like hey whoa John where'd you come from and you're kind of I love you you're you're a ball of sunshine but like I need you to like calm down because you're making me feel conflicted right now always and forever was my least favorite by far I felt like it was it had too many boring parts I think why is because I like drama you know like <laughs> when I'm reading stuff when I'm watching stuff I like drama I like chaos and havoc like I <laughs> I like it when things are messy so PS I love you and to all the boys I love before like those were kind of messy, those were kind of dramatic, and I really loved that. This one, especially with the love plot of Lara Jean and Peter, it was like very like honeymoon, happiness, and although I love that, I need some drama in my life. And that's just a personal opinion. Some people probably love this book. I don't know. I, I just thought it was a little bit less interesting than the other two. Since the movie on this is just about the first book uh let's talk about the first book it's a lot and i just need to talk about it obviously spoilers coming your way man and like right from the start right from like the very first chapter i knew i was like Lara Jean, you you're hooked on josh and you need to be unhooked because he don't seem that great to me whenever she started off the book and she's like everybody loves josh my sister loved josh my dad loved josh or my other sister loves josh and so do i we all just love josh and you're just like what the fuck why is this josh guy so great i think the fact that she did all of this <laughs> to say face in front of josh and then all the like she doesn't even like josh like i thought that was like it was just the best thing ever that she did all of this to just say face in front of josh and you know to be like hey i don't like you anymore to like really like stop liking him like this literally helped her stop liking him and then she gets with someone else i was like Bruh. like that is amazing iconic when Laura jump when she's in the hallway trying to not embarrass herself in front of Josh and she freaking catapults into Peter's arms I was like I dropped my hot pocket this shut up ah! girl what are you taking because like she just got like the confidence of everything and she just like jumped into his arms and I was like okay bitch okay i'm like really excited to see that scene where like she's talking to josh and she just like catapults herself into peter's arms because i think that's gonna be really funny um and i'm just imagining this tiny little lana just jump all the way up on the tree nick is <laughs> Okay, I'm jumping in between the book and the movie, but you know what? I don't give a shit. Um, I'm really happy with the casting. I just think it's so good. Like, it just matches everybody. I mean, one thing about Lana is that she definitely doesn't look like someone that is half Korean, half 
white like she looks like a full asian um i don't know if she is korean um, that's kind of weird she isn't though but like whatever like it's fine like it's an asian i'll take whatever i can get i think janelle and then the little sister kitty i forget her name i think they both look mixed like white and asian but then lana doesn't quite look white and asian she just looks asian to me um i did not know i, I watched the trailer a million times then i looked at the cast and then i was like oh my god the dad dr kovey is in fact the lead from my big fat greek wedding i was like shook i was a little bit shook at that i was like okay bitch that's kind of iconic i was really excited to see that peter was being played by nick because i watched the fosters and i really liked the fosters and i was like that is actually quite honestly the best peter casting i've probably ever seen and like honestly like when you read the book with like nick in your mind as peter like it fits so well and i just I really love that. Let's go into some of my favorite scenes over the course of To All The Boys I Loved Before. My favorite little moments from the book are probably the genuine, like, honest moments between, like, Lara Jean and Peter. I think they're very cute and it's just like, it's not forced, it doesn't seem overly cheesy or, like, weird. It's just cute little genuine moments between them when they're talking and it's you know it's not a show and even when they are out in public like it's not really pretend like you would think like oh a pretend relationship like it's gonna be like very like over the top blah blah blah, blah. Uh, 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 uh. but it's really not like whenever they're out like being pretend couple like this is like real things that they're deciding to do whenever she's at the party and she gains a little bit more confidence in herself she's like this is what peter's girlfriend would do and she just sits on his lap i was like okay bitch you're peter's girlfriend <laughs> like you do your thing <laughs> like i think that's one of my favorite parts is when Lara jean starts getting more confidence in herself especially around like peter and his friends like that's like really amazing like truly like confidence queen i love that honestly like i love like high school like party scenes so like whenever that party scene happened in there i was really about it because like i'm a party scene whore when i watch like teen movies like i'm all about that like party scene like house party let's do it like i'm ready like i'm down for the house party scene in a teen show Bleah. oh and the, the moment before the house party and he's like you know they come from her house she's literally like baking because she's like the pta bake sale like she's all about that pta lifestyle she like dresses up or whatever and she like goes to the party and they're like about to walk in and then he just like he's like he pulls out her hair and he's like trust me and she's like what the fuck <laughs> and then he just snaps a picture of her puts it as his phone screen and you're just like he just did that wow like maybe hetero lives like maybe they matter one of the best parts about this book is sort of the transformation from pretend to real relationship and real feelings we see Lara jean you know recognize her own feelings sooner than peter does um but when peter you know finally tells her like he says it very straightforward he's just like i like you and she's like That whole ski trip, I was literally like, it was a lot to take in because it's like, oh my God, there's Genevieve. No one likes Genevieve, not even me. I don't, I don't care what, like honestly, even after finding out what happens to her and like what she's going through, I'm still like, okay. But anyways, enough about Genevieve. I wasn't even talking about Genevieve. Um, her struggles are her struggles, whatever. Um, let's talk about the whole like, ski trip because i'm like jumping in between like scenes and scenes because i don't really give a fuck it was something it was just so it was so like just perfect Mwah. it was what you needed because it was like okay we got a little bit of like you know we see them and it's like oh my god like they hugged and then they go on the bus and she doesn't sit next to him and he's really mad about that because he's like my own girlfriend doesn't even sit next to me. my own fake girlfriend doesn't even sit next to me how rude and then he's like ignoring her throughout the ski trip and then like his friends were like hey Lara Jean why didn't you come and like he just slopes with us and she's like I called Peter but he didn't hear me I guess and he's like nope I didn't hear you it's like a lot like it's like a lot to deal with because honestly like I was literally just like in shock through this because I was like how dare you no how dare you and then like they talk and he's like I like you 
And then we're all like, fucking shot her, we already knew that. And then like, Laura doesn't say it back. And I'm like, girl, you've been pining for him since like six chapters ago. Why did you just say you liked it? <laughs> and then she like mopes around in her room and then she goes back down to the, oh my God, I have to tell you guys, <laughs> whatever. I was reading that part where he's in the hot tub and she's like, let's let's pull up exactly what she said so I don't like get it all wrong. This is where like I like my brain like kind of fucked up and I kind of made like a weird judgment call that was not right at all. It was very it was very dirty in my mind too. I can explain myself. Okay. It says there's not much time left. I hope Peter's still out there. I don't want to lose my nerve. So I quickened my pace and that's when I spot him alone in the hot tub, his head tipped back with his eyes closed. Now, being from the weird mind I have, I assumed he was getting a blowjob from Genevieve. Oh! <laughs> I don't have any explanation. Like, I really don't have any explanation because that's just like so wrong in so many ways. Like, and it's so, like, it's not at all true. It is, okay, honestly, my Genevieve part was not all false because we all knew that she was, you know, lurking in the woods, doing all that because he was waiting for her, little hoe. I don't know why my mind went there. I was tweeting about it and I quickly deleted that tweet after my eyes read down a few more sentences. Um, well, cause he like, okay, cause he like looks around when she's like trying to get in the hot tub and he's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh. God, there's a girl underneath the water right now. And I was like, how was she holding her breath for so long? I don't know why my mind went there. And it was just like very much like a, I don't know, a false assumption on my part. Not good. We gotta go. The rest of the ski trip, you know, they have their little makeout session in the pool, and that makeout session just comes back and bites them in the ass like five more times in the next book. You know, gotta love that. We are a meme. <laughs> I love this whole book, like front to back. Like I love it so much. I wish I could say like. I talk about every single scene that I loved, but like obviously like we would be here for an hour. There was just so many scenes I loved. I love the party scene. I love the sea trip. Uh, I love the, their first encounter. Honestly, one of an underrated scene is when, you know, the first interaction we have of Peter and Lara Jean in the beginning of the book when she gets into a new car wreck and then he like stops on the side of the road to make sure she's okay. Like I think that's a very underrated scene and it kind of sets up to what Peter's character was gonna be like. Obviously it was foreshadowing stuff. It kinda showed you what type of character Peter was and I really appreciated that, that Jenny Han didn't make Peter out to be the stereotypical lead. You know what I'm saying? Cause she could have easily done that. She could have easily made him, you know, very cliche and she didn't and she chose a different route and I love that so much. When I say I called it, I called it because I knew one of those motherfucking sisters sent out those letters. I knew it. I called it. I will hear the tweets, hear the tweets. I literally called it. I called it. I am a sidekick. I am so powerful. I don't even know. I was literally like one of those freaking sisters sent out those letters and I was right. Little Miss Kitty sent those letters. I love you Kitty, but what the fuck? But also like, thank you. Like that's really nice of you because now she's, you know, she found love her life and that's like really great also like the way this book ends like literally made me want to jump off of the roof um if i didn't have the next book i probably would have started crying because that is really sad it's literally just like dear peter dot 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 what the fuck is that like literally like if i didn't have the next book i would be screaming i would be in a riot i don't know how the people that read this in 2014 lived enough to wait till i don't know how they waited a whole year for ps i love you because that was weird also why is this called ps i st still love you she says that in the letter to josh in the new letter she writes to josh that, that was like you know she was like i'm closing i'm i'm gonna have closure on josh for round two round two closure on josh and she goes ps i still love you why is that the title of this Ma'am. I mean, I kind of get in context to with Peter, but it was weird that she wrote that for Josh and then she uses it in this. So it really had me thrown because I read this and then I read this back to back and, and I was like, is she gonna end up with 
Josh, what? I was literally like, why is it called Because I Love You? Because like, I feel like it should be like Peter and Laura Jean, but like, it says Because I Love You, which is what she wrote to Josh. So I was like, I was really thrown for a loop. But Josh is quickly kicked out of the picture very soon in this. You know, he was kind of like the star in this one, but not in this one, not really. And that is something that I appreciate because I, you know what? I don't really give a shit about Josh, you know what? And like, also like right from the moment, like you knew freaking Josh like also had feelings for Lara Jean because he was like, why didn't you tell me Lara Jean? Why didn't you tell me back then? And she's like, well, I don't know. And then he's like, oh, cause I, God, I don't know. And I'm like, oh, you don't know? You probably would have like snatched it up real quick with Lara Jean if you could. Honestly, me too. When he finally tells her that he likes her and then kisses her, oh my god, the line after he kisses her. Let, let's 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 read it. When he kisses her and then he goes, Did you predict that, Laura Jean? I was like, Josh, shut the fuck up. This is why no one likes you. This is why everyone except the characters in the book don't like you. Like literally no one likes you. And no one likes you even more because of that line. Shut the fuck up. Why did you say that? Like that is just, why? Like I just shouldn't have said that dog. I'm gonna keep it real with you. You shouldn't have said that. Oh my God, the Halloween scene. Oh my God, when Peter is jealous that, you know, Josh and freaking Lara Jean dressed up as little Potterhead. He was a little bit salty about that. I was, ah. And then they had that little scene where they like, they like chase each other around in their costumes. That, is, that was so cute. Like, how cute is that? Like that's adorable. Like I, ah. Like I said, this is not a review of the book. This is literally me commenting on some of the scenes that I really liked in the book. I love the way Jenny Han did this. It's so, it's such a sweet story. It's cheesy in all the right ways and it's cute in every single way. Um, I also like the relationship bumps that Peter and Lara Jean go through in this book in P.S. I Love You. I think they're very, it's something very realistic that they go through. It's something that I really liked seeing because in To All The Boys I Love Before, you really couldn't see it as like relationship fights when it's like, oh, this is a pretend relationship but in this one like it was a real one blah 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 oh my god and at the end of this book when they like find they whatever decide you know oh we're gonna together Yay. and he's like so this time it's gonna be real so you're saying i just read this whole book and it wasn't even real really 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 that's really fun we love that um i don't have anything to say on always and forever whereas on ps i love you and to all the boys i love before i had a lot to say about it i don't have a lot to say about it because i felt like it was just like there was a lot of anticlimactic things that happened you know what i'm saying whereas in ps i love you uh you have the freaking hot tub video going out you got freaking John coming in and then you have like the whole Genevieve thing and it's very dramatic and you're like, oh my god Like it's a lot to handle which is why I really liked this book. Um, but always and forever um, It's cute. It's really good. It's not on these guys level, you know, like she wasn't ugly But she wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I kind of felt about it Like it's you know, she's not bad, but she's just like is not on their level like she's She's not hanging out with them. To all my boys I love, like it's it was the perfect book for me to read at this time. Just hit all my soft spots, you know what I mean? Just like hit all those little, you know, warm and fuzzy places in my I have a really hard time reviewing things, especially books, because it's very hard to touch on everything that happens in a book. And you know, although I did mention like P.S. I Still Love You and Always and Forever, like I did not go into them as hard as I went into this one. And like honestly, like reviewing books, like I tried so many times and I keep like just like deleting the videos because I find it really hard to review books because I cannot retain everything that happens in a book. Like my memory is like constantly like just shoveling things out and it's very hard to cover in one bit video everything that happens in one book and I, if i could film a reaction to reading a book i would because whether you believe me or not i do the same things i do when i'm watching a show when i'm reading a book after reading or watching so many different types of like love stories or like teen movies and it's just like ugh. like i think this was like almost like refreshing to me. I know that's really weird to say. It's almost refreshing. It's a take I've never seen on like something almost so simple, like in a sense, like love letters. Like I, I love in Always Forever when she says it started out with a love letter. I think that's really cute. I think it's really 
just like sweet and um, I think that's a lot of like, a, another thing that I really love about this book it's it's got a really like pure start to it almost like it started off with love letters like that's so cute and like their relationship over these courses of these books is very like cute and it's very genuine and genuine as I say they started off as a fake relationship um, but like you know the moments they have together were genuine and it's just like a like I just get a little bit soft and it's like, you know what, like, I, I, it really be like that sometimes. <laughs> and I may have read it because there's a movie coming out, but like all that matters is that I actually read it and I finally get to like enjoy it and you know, know what the hype is about because it's actually pretty fucking good. Watch out after August 17th because your girl will probably have a movie review of to all the boys I love before. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on to all the boys I love before in the comment section down below because I this is just like my new like little baby that I'm just I'm so excited about. Leave me your comments. I want to read them and I want to talk more about this book and movie with you guys. Let me know your thoughts on the book. Let me know your thoughts on the movie. Are you excited for it? Do you think it's gonna be good? Do you think it's gonna suck? I don't know. Let me know your comments. And that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I like me better when I'm with you.